Hello, my little hummingbirds. It's nice to see everyone back again. So, this is, you know, this is basically the first lesson, and you can even call it video number one. Today we're going to be going over watercolor pencils, and these are the watercolor pencils that I'm going to be using, Arteza's watercolor pencils. And the paper that I'm going to be using is Canson Mixed Media Paper, just to let you know there. And also, uh, if you get the chance, check out this 8 plus watercolor pencil techniques by Craft Caria. Personally, this is hands down by far the best watercolor pencil techniques video I have ever seen, personally, in my own personal opinion. So go check her out. I, I don't know her from Adam, you know, I have, I have no clue who she is or anything. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely going to trumpet her, uh, her video because it's just, in my opinion, it's just that good. So, there we go. So, let's get on to the syllabus. Uh, I went ahead and I wrote it out here. And so, we're going to be going over, at least in this video, we're going to be going over these four techniques. We're going to be going over dry pencil on dry paper, wet pencil on wet paper, uh, wet pencil on wet paper, and dry pencil on wet paper. So some of these are going to be really interesting. It's not going to work too well. Uh, I hope that the camera can see it well enough here. I will try to zoom in at least a little bit. So yeah, okay, so the first thing, uh, I'm going to start out with my reds here. And this one is not really much of anything, and I'm not going to be doing anything with it. I'm just going to be going ahead and just, I, I don't know what to really call them, take uh, two kind of opposing colors. I'm going to be taking Arteza's Fruit Punch. Here, let me try to show it to the camera a little bit better. Here. I'm going to be taking Arteza's, can you read it? I don't know. Fruit Punch and Peaches and Cream. And honestly, I might just be taking just one of these, not even uh, both of them. But I'm just going to go ahead and color on the little piece of paper here. And you'll see how well it works. And please ignore any background noise. Uh, I can hear the phone ringing. So I, I don't know if you all can hear that. Oh no. And I forgot an alarm usually goes off. Boy, that is really going off late today. Oh. Oh, it's noon now. <sighs> well, I'm really ahead of time. <laughs> Please excuse the alarm that's going on <laughs> in the background. I'm sorry, I can't refilm this. I, I have the free time now. So, you know, you're just going to have to forgive the alarm that. And I already colored on this piece of paper. And this is the only scrap paper that I have at the moment. So, you're going to have to put up with the, uh, the storm alarm. And what those alarms are, are they, uh, I live in Tornado Alley, literally. And uh, I, I live in Oklahoma, you know, and it's Tornado Alley. And if they don't sound those alarms, then, you know, if they end up not working when they need them, then it's a bad thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where I live in Oklahoma. <laughs> it's bug tussle. <laughs> it's bug. But anyway, <laughs> it's it's in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why they're blowing sirens for, you know, but I'm living here. So and I, I'd like to be warned when a tornado's coming. So, but no one has basements. So I don't know what the point is. So anyway, so there we go. There's, there's dry pencil on dry paper. And hopefully I kept it in frame. Yep, I kept it in frame. Yay! In fact, I'll, I'll zoom in even a little bit more. There. Ah, uh, there, finally. I decided to go ahead and wait until the, uh, the sirens were over with. So, there we go. There is a dry watercolor pencil on dry paper. That's what that looks like. You know, and I'll even bring it up to you so you get an even better idea. Hopefully the camera is actually catching that nice and clear and sharp there. 
And I'm just going to keep drawing on this here. This is what it looks like when I make lines, when I try making dots. Hmm. There we go, and that's what that looks like. Dry pencil on dry paper. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on to wet pencil on wet paper. So now for this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and take the exact same pencil, the, the Fruit Punch here, the Fruit Punch Arteza pencil, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it in the water. Oh my god, that is so awesome. It literally looks like a zigzag, like I turned the pencil into a zigzag. I love that. That is so cool. And it's not just because of the water, it's actually because of the cut, the way the thing is molded. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> other than, other than the water and the, the glass container bending the visuals, that is awesome. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm an artist. I get entertained by all kinds of pretty things and awesome looking things. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wet the paper down. And I'm going to use, you know, my, and yes, this is an, an Arteza. And this is not an Arteza uh, advertisement channel. It's not. I just happen to have a lot of their products. So, and, but this, you know what? I actually kind of like these. These are pretty good. So, Okay, and my hands are getting old, and it is getting tough, and these little squeezy things, they really do help me. They really do help. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wet this uh, little square down. See, it's wet pencil on wet paper next. So, I'm going to go ahead and wet this little square down, and I'm going to go ahead and take this wetted down little, you know, watercolor pencil, and I'm going to try drawing on the wet paper. And... We will see how this works out. I, I will say that much. We will see how this works out. Well, now that, that is dripping wet. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to dab some of it off. I mean, it is, that is wet. That is wet, 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 wet. There. It was, it was truly a swimming pool kind of wet. Um, I know that that doesn't show up on camera. Uh, here, let me try to show it on camera. Okay, so I hope that you can see here how wet that is. So, hopefully you can see. I mean, it is really wet. It's, uh, it's obviously rippling and buckling the paper. So, yeah. So even though you can't really see the water pooling, I mean, you kind of can if I move the camera around enough. Hopefully you get the idea that it is wet, that it is really, really wet. <laughs> and just to reinforce that, I'm, I'm actually going to put a little bit more water on it here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my little wetted down <laughs> and look at what happened to that thing my god just look at hopefully the camera is focusing it's the red balance is just really off the charts on this thing I don't know if it can even can it see there we go is it focusing now it doesn't look like it is ah, it's not able to adjust the colors right anyway this thing is dripping wet, <laughs> and the paper's dripping wet. Oh, wow. Oh, that is creamy. That's like an oil pastel kind of smooth. That is really, really odd. And the center of it is I wonder I wonder if that'll blend at all. I'm gonna take my finger and 
kind of oh that blends really well that blends that blends like an oil pastel it really does it becomes a lot more paler far more pale than the oil pastel ever would the second I start trying to blend it with my very dry finger here but oh that's neat that is really really neat I hope that I'm getting this on camera I hope that it's in frame <laughs> I'm not sure yes it is thank God so <laughs> okay and obviously I mislabeled the next one yeah I labeled it wrong <laughs> I labeled it totally wrong but it's okay I even did it out of order of what I had written down on my syllabus but you know what as long as I get it done <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do wet pencil on dry paper and I'm letting the pencil soak okay so I've let the pencil soak for at least a good minute now and hopefully you'll be able to actually see this let me see is it focusing I hope it is hopefully you can actually see how how much that pencil has swollen in the water you know and whether you know whether this is out of focus or not you can still get the general idea of how much that pencil is soaked up water so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw on this dry bit of paper here with the very very wet pencil oh, and as you can see it gets down to the dry part of the pencil very quickly Yeah, and you get down to dry pencil really, really quick. But now, now I'm really curious. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try blending this little bit of wet. Oh, wow. Oh, that is neat. Blending it with your dry finger. That That is more like oil pastel than anything else. That is really cool. I love oil pastels and I love chalk pastels. I that that is my medium. That is my favorite. That is so neat. we go so that's pretty cool I like that and of course I'm not going to blend out the whole thing because I want the example left behind there so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go on to dry pencil on wet paper and I'm going to use a whole new pencil here I'm actually going to be using this peaches and cream color so please focus please read it but I'm going to be using this peaches and cream that I introduced at the beginning here um, even though the darn camera won't really focus on it I think I have it too zoomed in there we go yeah, I had to hold my hands further away from the camera I'm used to having to hold them really close but since I'm so zoomed in I have to hold them further away so okay so now I'm gonna do dry pencil on wet paper so I'm gonna wet this down and try putting this <laughs> try putting this pencil this very dry pencil on the wet paper and if we're lucky the paper will not get torn up if we're not so lucky the paper it'll tear straight through the paper so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
And obviously this paper is going to start buckling up and wrinkling up just like it did up there. So that's going to be interesting, having two entirely separate squares wrinkling and buckling, you know. I know technically that might mean that, uh, that your paper is over wet and over watered. Um, but really that, that also means that you have very cheap paper. <laughs> One technique that I figured out, that I managed to figure out, I didn't get this from any YouTube video or anything. It turns out if you want your paper to lay flat, if you're having to wet it down like this and you're wanting it to lay flat, the best thing to do is to actually turn your paper over. I'm not going to do that with this, but you actually turn your paper over and you wet the back of it so that it actually, and then you lay it down on your desk or your painting surface or whatever. And even though some papers will actually adhere tightly to what, to your painting surface. So you do got to watch out for that. But, uh, you, you can go ahead and put like another piece of paper down, you know, just to try to keep it from doing that. But I don't know how well that would work, but, uh, you could use wax paper. You could always put it on top of wax paper on top of your painting surface. But anyway, if you don't want your paper to buckle or wrinkle like this, just wet down the back of it. Not only that, but that also keeps it from drying so fast. I found out if you actually wet the back of your paper. And with, with that technique, you can use cheap paper. You can use even cardstock, and it won't be that much of a headache for you. All right, this thing is starting to buckle up enough now. I'm going to just give it another minute or two to really be wet. I'm going to dab it off just a little bit, because I am actually I actually have like little swimming pools here. There we go. And uh, I'm not going to move the camera this time. I'm not going to like zoom it in, I don't think. Yeah, because I have the camera perfect, perc perp I have the camera perfectly zoomed in and focused right now. So I'm not going to take it off its little tripod here and try to zoom it in, but. Okay. And thankfully the paper is not tearing. And I don't know if the camera can even see this. I'm going to go ahead and, um, yeah, and I'm just, I'm not getting any color at all. I'm just getting virtually nothing. And I'm going to grab a much darker color here just so that you can really get the idea. But it's not, it's a very, very faded. You know, just nothing's happening. It's very faded, very muted. And, and it is, is really pushing little bits of paper around. It's really technically tearing up the paper. So, so that's what you get with that. <laughs> so, yeah. So those are those four techniques for this video. And uh, for the next video, I'm going to go, go ahead. Uh, oh, if I could just talk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these two blending techniques. So there we go. So the next video is probably going to be extremely short. But that's it for this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope... If you like this, please, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a like. I need to know that anyone that's watched this actually has liked this and actually has appreciated it. And because these really are a whole lot of hard work for me. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more. Click the bell notification button. And I'm so proud of myself for even remembering to say any of these things because I always forget. <laughs> I always forget. And I can't remember anything else other than, you know, nanu nanu, live long and prosper. And remember, as Mr. Rogers said, it's you I like, it's every part of you. It's your personality, your heart, your soul, it's you. And Mr. Rogers said that, and I say that too. And as a comedian friend of mine said, you know, laughter and happiness save lives. And 
I can't find my little, oh, my little squirrel saying. <laughs> and my squirrel blessing to you is may your cheeks always be full and your home always be safely hidden. <laughs> that one hit me Wednesday, you know, July of all things, the 17th, 2013 at 325 p.m. So there we go. And as my timer is going off here, yep. <laughs> And as my timer is going off here, I say adios for now, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Bad toilet paper, bad.